Hello friends, Eli here with Mystic Circuits. I decided to upload the full recording of my entry to the three module challenge, where you must make a patch using only three modules. This is actually the sort of patch that I would make for fun, so I thought that it would be a good example of the way that I think about patching with the vert. The entire patch consists of a feedback loop between sheep and the vert, with switches mixing different audio outputs of sheep and also changing modulation to sheep's FM input. In this patch, I have the unipolar output of sheep going into both the voltage and FM inputs of the vert. Then the bipolar, sub-oscillator, and one-bit outputs are all going into the dirty Vactrol-based inputs of switches. Various bits of the vert are plugged into pretty much every CV input on sheeps, except for freeze because that would kill the feedback loop. Two outputs from the vert go into inputs three and four of switches so that they are mixed with the bipolar and one-bit outputs of sheep, and this switch sum goes back into the FM input of sheep. This makes it so that the vert not only sends gates as modulation back to sheep, but also sends some audio rate modulation mixed with some stepped voltages to the FM input, all while switches is switching these modulation sources on and off. At the beginning of the recording, you will hear that the vert's internal clock rate is set to be moderately slow, yielding some rhythmic results. Once the clock rate is switched into audio rate, chaos ensues, but about halfway through the patch, I plug the sub-oscillator output into the vert's clock input, making the entire rhythm of the patch controlled by the feedback loop. This can yield chaos when the loop is searching for stability, but then it settles into an equilibrium point and allows the patch to create a pattern on its own. I hope that this patch gives you some ideas about the usefulness of feedback and how to patch generative sequences with the vert. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.